guys, I'm Ray and welcome back to Danganronpa. I, 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 I know exactly what I have to do now. I want to go check out. I saw the data center. Wait, what? What's over here? Oh, the headmaster's room. I should go check that out first since I'm on this floor. Let's go. Yeah, because I haven't been in here. Yeah, because we have to break down the door after Sakura's death and whoa. Hey, what up, Byakuya? This is the headmaster's room. I've heard a an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. Hm. Huh, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Yakia. Fuck. Alright, so first, uh, there's trophies and even a shield and display case. Okay. Uh, wait, what was the other thing I could see? Oh, all the papers scattered around. Okay, cool. There's our documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. Uh, there's a book, which I'm pretty sure is where they got. Hey, Makoto. Are you ignoring me? You think I'll forgive that just because you're you? Yeah, I kind of don't want to talk to you. When we get out of here, remember this moment. Bitch. But you came to the right place this time. Uh, would you like to see something interesting? Not really. What do you mean, something interesting? Take a look at this. It was on top of the that pathetically... Ostentatious desk. I don't know what that means. Class 78 student registry? It contains profiles of all of us and Mukuru. So in other words, Apparently, Class 78 refers to us. I see. That's right. I also mentioned Class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that. Uh, this must be where Kyoko got that page. Hmm. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there along with hers, there can be no doubt Mukuru was a student here at Hill Street Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuru Ikusaba, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. Uh, the fact that there are... Oh, the uneven tearing, the way the paper's been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Oh, I was talking about the papers on the floor, but... Okay. Well, since she snuck in to get him, I'm sure she wanted to get as fast as possible. But what's your point? She was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. First page? Correct. Mukuru's profile actually contains two pages. What? So, in other no, words... When it comes to this profile, there's more information about Mukuru that we still didn't have. Yo, Manu, what kind of information is it? Why do you have to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? Because you're the one telling me already, so that's why. Fuck you. Seems some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he, let it, he left us an interesting clue. Ah. I was half listening to Biak as I skimmed through the report. Mukuru reappears suddenly, in the back, uh, and in the background, an entity floats. Close, but just out of reach. The empty known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior, too. It's just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of uh, Fenry, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any sign of battle wounds or scars. The fact that she proves her tremendous skill in battle, naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the students, I will be forced to take all, all reasonable measures. Mukuru is part of the ultimate despair. I still don't think there's any doubt about it. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why, why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the headmaster seemed afraid about of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have, have t uh, they would have had to take a complete by surprise to kill like that. Or maybe that means the Mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? I don't know. Have you read this fucking file? Huh? Be lost in thought. Well, I should probably point out one other thing. There's important information within the file that you should know. What is it? Did you notice a picture in there? A picture of a girl, perhaps you've never seen before. The girl seems to be included, included in part of our class 78. Yeah, Mukuro, you dumb bitch. It should be enough for you to figure out who this girl is. And for the information about that girl is included in the file, five foot seven inches, 97 pounds, and uh, even lists her vital. Uh, her vitals, 31, 22, 32. Wait, 5 foot 7 inches and not, like 97 pounds? That's actually light. And I'm saying this as someone who's like 5'8". And like being like when I was like in, in the 90s as like weight, that was like considered underweight for my... Like they almost decided to put me on like medication or something because of how underweight I was. And I'm only an inch taller than her. That's... Wow. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me if she has a nice body? 
you hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll want to... Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, Oh, could that mean... What is he trying to say? That the corpse is a chance the body actually is a Mukuro? Is that what he's trying to say? Joke's on you! Uh, personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? All clear. That's all I wanted to say. What is it that... What you do with that information is your business. So I'm back to being Byakuya's errand boy. As always, fuck you, Byakuya. Hmm. Um, one last thing. It's a bit of advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. I'm not going to. Advice from me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not being getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In words, the cost of that faith must be, might, might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. Hunch. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take your don't as you will. Your hunches have never been right. Ever. Alright? If we had trusted your hunches from the very beginning, we'd all be fucking dead right now. Alright? So, fuck you. Fuck your hunches. Fuck you. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything else. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Fuck you. Uh, just everything else is normal here. Ah, I can check behind him. Anything important here? Books have seen really well made. It's filled with files and thick book. Whoops. Okay. Uh, R. Iveria? Yeah. Okay, so now, now I can go to where I want to go. Let's see. I want to go. Is this the area with. Yes! Give me that bio lab. I know exactly what's gonna happen here. But I wanna check it out for myself. Actually, I'm gonna talk to Toko first, to be honest. Uh, I'm basing all this off of the fact that I already watched the anime recently. Is it a dojo? A dojo. Okay, yeah, she's in a dojo. Also, I picked up my finger. I'm not gonna keep that in there. Oh, Toko, this is the way you were. Um, am I so d disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, that's not at all. I just thought you'd, maybe you found a clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything, not a single clue. I figured this place was related to the case. Case must have something, right? There wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back. Give me back my precious time. Calm, calm down, girl. Uh, don't tell me to calm down. I have any idea what I'm going through right now. When everyone finds out they're gonna call me useless good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. We have we have Asahina and um. And, and Hiro, Hiro on our side. Alright, at least you've been somewhat knowledgeable. Master Will, I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that, I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Well, I don't think there's any clues here, so maybe I'll get going. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna double check though. So I'm gonna check this really fast. We found the Steve Armour's place, the was Japanese. Uh... Already right, check the locker, right? Is there anything new in here? Or which one lock is here? Found Clooney. Okay, well, going to my original location now. I just want to talk to Toko, get that out of the way, because I knew that there. Would... Like, uh, I was hoping, I was hoping if I talked to her and then went to the bio lab, I'd be able to see Genocide Jack. Oh, my thumb is bleeding. Whoopsies. Don't mind me. Uh, well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Yeah, he's not the brightest bunch. It's so cold, why is it so cold? I mean, the first time you figure that out. Well, check this out because I got a weird machine or something built into the wall. It looks like a bunch of glowing blue lights, but on the other side. Do I have to physically click on the other side? A bunch of some kind of weird machine built in walls, something like this before. Honestly, I've seen these kind of horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge to store uh for storing dead bodies. Does that mean this bylaw is actually a morgue? We should probably take a closer look around. Um, which it probably is it, it, on here. It'll tell you. Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. There we go. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidical lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of uh, ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know uh, the automated system has activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimal settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. 
On the unlucky event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer optional leather upholstery upgrade package. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, there's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. Okay. Um. Which... Oh, this is the camera. Okay, so if I click on this again, it should be like, oh, there's some kind of wood machine on the wall, left side, bunch of glowing and on the left. Uh, the right hand lights are off. I look around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. It was a makeshift morgue. Okay, woo! This one lights a being slot. That is each of the dead people. Looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue lights come on. Which would mean inside each lit up, bl lit up in blue, another one of the victims is. Firelight Labs. I can't let my motion take control of me right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And do have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other options, which, by the way, I want you all to keep this in mind. Two, four, six, eight, nine. All right? Keep that number in mind. Nine is actually a really important number. <laughs> yes, leave the area, so I'm done in there. Uh, the other place I needed to go to was the garden. So I go to the garden really fast. Uh, where's the garden again? There it is. And after this point, I'm gonna forget everything else I have to- No, actually, I remember everything. Never mind. Um, um. Huh. It's, it's gone. Makoto's body. It's not here? Yeah, it's not there. Oh, uh, well. Got the chicken coop. So, so there's four chickens left. I was gonna terrify there were more than that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What about it here? Because this is the other place I can check. Hey, the body's inside the tool shed. I better check just to make sure. It's not in the tool shed. Uh, I didn't find anything close to a dead body. If it's not here, then it must be. It could be in the bio lab. But the corpse aren't the only thing I need to check. And there's also one other thing. The tarp. A tarp played a key role in the case, so I better look into it. So let's. Okay. Clue the tarp to keep the spring clothes from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? I didn't notice this before. There's a small stamp in one corner of the tarp. It says. Bio lab. Then this originally came from the bio lab. Ah, 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 ah! Anything else in here I need to check out? No, it wasn't. This is one of the few things I need to check out before uh, I lost all my data, which I better not lose again because I'm gonna be pissed about doing this the third time. So I need to check in here. Okay. Can I go back? If I go back to the bio lab now, this I actually forgot. If I go back to the bio lab now. Will I get anything new in there? Like, will it mention the whole fact that there's only nine dead bodies? I'm, I'm gonna just keep reminding y'all of that. Y'all ain't gonna forget how many buys are in here. All right, uh, duh, 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 duh. can I make an observation about that? Um, some kind of blue machine in the middle of the wall, blah, 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 blah. I already read all this. Nope, okay, I tried. Okay, so next place, it should not be on this floor, right? It should be, so I went to the garden, I went to the dojo. Where does I have to go? No. No. Oh! I need to be on the first floor because I need to get to. There's a locked area. No. Behind. No. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? I'll get back to you when I find it. Ah! This is what I need. Also, wasn't this door locked long? No, it's the storage room. Fuck, 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 wait, fuck, wait, hold, 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 hold on. I made a mistake. Wrong, wrong area. Wrong area. <laughs> this is where I wanted. This is the, this was locked the entire time. The gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. Which means we, this is where, this is where shit gets real. Hey, this is the second floor of the dorms? It looks like some ancient ruin. Oh, no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up in here or something. Alright. Um, okay, so there's only one bedroom I can go into. Oh, someone got fucked up. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Um, I can't check out the papers? The bed's completely torn apart. I mean, it's not really a bed anymore, it's just garbage. Oh. Nice so Now I'm gonna check the bathroom really fast. Uh, I opened the door to just crack lens inside, immediately closed again. There wasn't even a hidden bathroom, there's a big pile of rubble. Well, 
I was hoping that there was gonna be a clue in here, but nope, I was wrong. Okay, back to back to investigating this shit. Uh, I probably don't need to go to the bathrooms. Oh. Um. Oh! Oh, I can't go in here yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is a room filled with lockers. Must be uh, hopes and Academy that came before us. Class 4 must have used these lockers. But none of them are going to be unlockable. I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, lock. Uh, outside door. Must be able to get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers um, for the locker on the second floor of the school. You have to use your e handbook to open those up. So that means I'll just give it a try. Try my handbook and ran across the card reader and then. No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open, which means none of us can do it. Or, okay, as soon as I opened this door, I was like, I know exactly where I need to be. I need to go... Here. This is right. This should be the headmaster's room. Yep. Okay. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has more of an adult atmosphere. This is the headmaster's private room. Kyoko! Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? What the fuck are you talking about, girl? Kyoko looks almost meek right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. Alright. Hold on. Okay. So, I'll check that room in a second. A leather chair. I can't imagine a student using a chair like this must be the headmasters. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna go straight for the computer. There's a PC on the desk. It must belong to the headmaster. Mm -hmm. Have used it last. It looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC saw some search results left on it. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. There's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but perhaps, but instead points to some kind of group, which we'll find out in my next playthrough. Just so you know, that group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. They're the worst sort of people whose driving force comes from despair. Never. And that's all there is. Nothing much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best we could he could do as a complete kitty giddy failure. God damn it, girl! But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate all of the info we can get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Okay. Uh, there's also this thing. Interesting, remember? Uh, onto a computer, must belong to the headmaster, that's not what I wanted, but nice! Uh... Um... That's uh, really all I can click on in here, over there? Well, time to go in here! Um, huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Some kind of design, design mistake or construction defect or something? No, so... there's a gap here, but not just a normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming through. A breeze? Easy. It's like an opening space on the other side of this wall. Open space, does that mean... Mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. Eh? You know, open it? Uh, do you figure out some kind of trick or something? I'm very easy trick. Yes, so easy. I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC I think controls it. Hand to the right password and the door should... Oh! Okay, I don't have a clue what the password might be. Uh, probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go on from there. You're right. This is not really enough to go it's on. True. I looked through all this paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. Ugh. I think about how much time I wasted on this. Oh, I know what the password is. <sighs> Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into, and that's why she might she might regret. I think I can assume what kind of clue it might be, but maybe for her it's more than just that. Do you mind if I just take a crack at this? Because I already know what the password is. And to get we need to figure out the password. Kyoko can't figure out, there's no way I can stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of, or something she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to think what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it, maybe it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password, uh, I mean, how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it, just to be sure? Well... It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. And I'm going to, because I know it's correct. You know, I'm glad I thought about trying Kyoko's name. But if it's not, it might just hurt Kyoko even more. Eh. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. God damn it, girl! Okay, in that case, here goes nothing. 
I collected myself and turned the facing fear monitor. Let me type the password in here. I typed the full name Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling as I finished typing it. Get yeah, fucked, my girl! So I got like really excited when that happened in the anime, so I was just waiting for that moment to be able to physically do it. What? That did it? Kyoko worked! Why? Because your father actually really did care about you, he just didn't care about the Kirigiri name, so. If you if you turned out to go up to him and say that you want to like completely cut ties with him, he's actually gonna be really heartbroken. I'm pretty sure. I think. He had a picture of you on his desk. Kyoko? Now look at me, she just peered into the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko. Well, there goes nothing. Ah! Hey! Hey Kyoko. I may as well not even have been in the room. The gaze was fixated on only one thing. This box, which, um... A present! Oh no, wrapped and covered with such joy. What made it, that's what made it so unusual. Joy. I read the code box and it seems totally out of place. And the more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should I, uh, we open it? I am getting kind of bad, bad vibe from it. I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why do you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous, but surprising, probably. Huh? It seem... If it's what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'd be, you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway. Just don't scream or anything, okay? Thanks, girl! <laughs> Are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Up to go! Step by heavy step, I approached the box, took a deep breath, and took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. Began to sneak its way into the box. I slowly, I stole a hesitant glance inside and. <laughs> Dumb bitch, she said don't scream. Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. Hey! Ho! Oh, let's go! What was in the box was bones. Human bones. It was last time I expected to find such a bright, joyful box. I'm not surprised. And who could possibly imagine? Just as I thought. What? My girl, my dude, my home skillet. Let's see, you thought, how could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there, human bones. Well, that's not how I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing, a dead guy in a box? My father. What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. Those bones, that body. That's my father. Hey, yeah, so remember that, uh, that opening with the rocket ship going up in space and coming back down with a bunch of human bones coming out? Hey, that's her dad! I'm gonna be honest, I was, like, horrified when I first saw this, but I've seen this anime twice, and so this is the third time I've seen these bones, and I'm not surprised anymore. I'm just kind of like, oh. Or at least what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same name that she's been searching for? Oh, hold on, how can you know for sure? How do you know that's so... him? Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. So the same person may as well may as very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster's a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but I'm paying enough puns here. The way here's your head. I'm pretty sure you already know this, but this killing game began with sixteen participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in hope speak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Also, you said the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who are, were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those I two ideas together, it doesn't make take much to assume. In other words, I most likely my father was in the school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm, or, or she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. That's why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties. But was that all there was to it? I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Did she really give up a pride just for that? I can't help but wonder. Get her own presents. 
Nice song. I'm gonna end this episode here because, as I said, this just makes me sad. This is the third time I've seen this happen, and it always makes me sad. So I'm gonna end this episode off here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, recommend me games. Let me know anything else in the comment section below. Uh, I lied last time saying it'll only take me about five episodes, including last one. It's gonna take me five episodes, including this one, hopefully. I'm gonna keep just going up, adding like <laughs> five plus this episode. <laughs> or including this one. Fucking goddammit. Either way, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we all finish up soon. Um, yeah, same mythical. Bye, my lovely.